everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only going to be eating orange food for the next 24 hours. <laughs> It is October and we are very very close to Halloween I thought doing a Halloween food challenge would just be very fitting for my channel and when this trend was like at its peak when literally everyone was eating colored foods for some reason I never hopped on it so I thought you know what better late than never I am gonna eat orange foods now in time for Halloween the first lot of these videos that I saw was actually from my best friend Saf so if you haven't already seen hers which I'm pretty sure you would have made sure to go and check them out I will leave a couple linked down below so you can go and have a look she has done loads of different colors but like I said I I thought I would do orange because I just feel like it's very fitting for October, you know? I have been racking my brain all morning, like, what am I going to eat that is the colour orange? And obviously, I want to try and make it Halloween themed, so hopefully they'll have a lot of Halloween foods in, but I honestly have no idea. I've tried to plan meals, it's not worked, so I'm literally going to go to Tesco and I'm going to wing it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up, and other than that, let's get started. I've just got to Tesco, and on the way here, I was doing a little brainstorm in my head of some foods I could get, and I've kind of got some in my head now. I'm thinking like sweet potato fries, pasta sauce, cheese, oranges is obviously, I mean the obvious one. First things first, look what I found. I didn't even think about this, but I can get the orange Krispy Kreme. I'm very excited to eat that. I managed to find these orange cakes and these orange biscuits and orange jelly. I don't want to jinx it, but I just feel like this is going to be a little bit easier than I thought. Okay, my trolley's filling up. I've got curry, I've got soup, I thought cheese strings, beans, yogurt. I got red pepper hummus because that's orange. I'm going to get some carrot sticks. I got melon. I actually think this is going to go okay. Like, I don't know what I'm going to have for my breakfast, but I've got every other meal sorted. This is what I want. I reckon, yeah, four cans should be enough. I just thought of these to go with my hummus as well. What is the person at the checkout going to think of me? Like, everything in my basket is orange. They're actually going to think I love Halloween. In real life, these curly fries look orange, but then I also feel like I'm kind of breaking the rules because they kind of aren't, so... I'm just gonna leave those. And here is my finished trolley. Everything in this trolley is literally orange. I just got out of Tesco. I was in there so long and I just didn't have the heart to tell the woman serving me why I was buying all the orange food. She was like, oh, are you excited for Halloween? Look at all this orange stuff. And I was like, yeah, my little brother's doing a competition at school because I was like, I can't say to the woman, oh yeah, I'm eating orange food for 24 hours for YouTube. <laughs> The total wasn't actually that bad, but I definitely think I have overbought food, but that just means I've got a lot of choice. So it comes to £28.95, but I think I've bought about four different options for dinner. So I guess we're going to have a massive lunch and dinner today. I'm actually the biggest idiot because I put some carrots and some sweet potato fries in my trolley, and then I saw some carrot sticks, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll put the big carrots back. And instead, I put the sweet potato fries down. So now I need to go back to Tesco later because I need some fries with my dinner. But I've organised all the meals, and I actually think I've done quite well. We're going to start off with lunch today and then we're going to go in tomorrow for breakfast but I am going to have for lunch a chicken korma. Now I know the rice isn't orange but it will be orange when I've covered it in this but they didn't have any other orange rice and then I've also got my Fanta. Okay first course of the day. Now I'm going to be honest it doesn't look too appetizing because you know normally you have the rice and then the curry sitting on top but I obviously had to mix all mine together but it smells incredible. This is when I wish Smell-O-Vision existed. So let's give it a taste test. I've also got my uh, Fanta here. I haven't had Fanta in so long. Here we go. It is taste test time. This is, I think it's just a plain chicken korma, but I just don't have curry a lot. That is so, so good. The rice is so good. I feel like you forget how good a curry is until you have one again. Wow, I don't know why I don't have this more often. I kind of wish I got one with a bit more spice too, because it's quite like plain. And I thought, oh no, I definitely don't want any spice. Definitely should have gone for spice. I'm now going to sit and enjoy my uh, first orange meal of the day. I've got my Fanta here as well. It's been so long since I've had Fanta. It's so good, but I can't believe I've got to drink this for the next 24 hours. I also don't think four counts is enough, so I definitely think I'll be going back to Tesco, but it is really good. That curry was probably one of the best curries I've had. It was at the Tesco two for five pound ones. If you've never tried them, you definitely should. It was in like the fridge section. Now I've got some of these. These are the Mr. Kipling Exceedingly Good Fiendish Fancies. And I don't know if they're orange inside, but all of the icing on the outside is orange. Plus these are Halloween, so I thought, okay, why not? These are very fun. Look at these. She really did say fancy. These are so fun. I don't actually know what the normal ones look like though. I've definitely had them before, but I just can't remember what color they are. 
I thought as though they're orange flavoured sponge. The sponge inside is white, but it's orange flavoured with a delicious vanilla topping drenched in orange coloured fondant. The marshmallow bit on top is unbelievable. Wow, these were only like a pound as well for eight. I'm glad I saw these. I wasn't even going to pick them up either, so I'm so glad I did. Orange flavoured cake is different as well. Orange flavoured cake, almost, to, it's like really strong vanilla sponge. Like I wouldn't really say it tastes like orange, but it's so like light and fluffy inside. Like the sponge is really, really nice. So I've come downstairs and I actually bought this cream of tomato and basil soup as well and obviously because i bought way too much food mum is actually having it for lunch so you know making use of what we've got this soup is one of the best soups i've ever tried it's a little bit pricier but it's so worth it i'm thinking i want to go for this red chili hummus which i don't know if it's going to be hot or spicy can't actually get it out is it red chili oh no red pepper i feel like it's going to be quite hot but i've got carrot sticks to have with it so hopefully it should cool it down a little bit here we go let's give this a try i love hummus but like i said Never tried this one before and then we just got some carrot batons to have with it. Carrot's one of my favourite veg as well, so I'm glad I picked orange. Okay, let's give it a smell and then we can judge how hot it's going to be. It just smells like normal hummus. Doesn't smell like it's got red peppers in at all. If I like this, I'm going to end up eating the whole bag. I think I prefer it over normal hummus. This is, oh my god. I think I would have preferred it if I had breadsticks, but I looked for orange breadsticks and I couldn't find any anywhere. It's really hard to explain the taste of this. It's quite filling. Like, I was just going to say I was going to eat the whole bag. I've had two batons and I actually feel full. I don't know if it's the carrot or the hummus that's giving me a really strange aftertaste in my mouth. I think it's the carrots, you know. But then why would it be the carrot? I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10. If I had breadsticks with it, 100% I would have ate way more. But these carrot batons, I just don't know. I'm not quite doing it for me today. Mum's going to give the hummus a go, but she doesn't really like carrots. So she's just going to try it like that. I do like carrot. It's cooked. It's okay. It's quite fresh. Be nice with breadsticks. That's what I said. I think it would be but way better. With... Together now. It's too much, isn't it? It'd be way better with breadsticks. Yeah. Taste this time. The donut, I think the icing might be orange flavoured as well. Because I can taste the donut, but I can also taste like a tint of orange. Really good value though. 25 quid this donut was. Not sure about the little green things on top. They taste a bit um a bit strange. But the actual donut, mm-hmm. <laughs> It is now 10 to 5, so I'm actually going to head downstairs and we're going to have some dinner. Dinner's going to be an interesting one. I've got a weird mix of stuff, but we're going to make it work. This is definitely orange too. Okay, I feel like I'm not cheating as much anymore. And I can have cheese as well because cheese is also orange. This is great. Mum's also going to give the uh, prawns a try tonight. Mum doesn't normally like prawns, but these are like... I like prawn mayonnaise sandwiches. Oh, so you might like them then. These are prawn tempura. I think that's how you say it. And you normally do have them with the sauce. Did it not come with any sauce? No. Okay, that's going to be interesting then. But they are really good. And look what I've just managed to pull out of the fridge. Well, we didn't even realise we had this, but we've got some sweet chilli sauce. And it's orange, so I can have it with the prawns. Wow, love this. Do you think it looks orange? Yeah. Okay, weird mix of food, but oh wow, this is, oh my god, I'm so excited for this now. Okay, let me try some of this sweet chilli sauce with the prawns. Are you having some of the sauce with it? Oh, it's yeah. way better with the sauce. Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. I'm not really sure on prawns without the batter. Well, no, no. Yeah, they're nice. Mm. Are they expensive? Two pound for a box of mm. eight. Then let's give the pasta a go. Tomato and mascarpone sauce, mm. I'd say. So creamy. That's like ridiculously creamy. Then let's give this flatbread a try. This flatbread was only a pound. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's so good. Tastes exactly like pizza. It's good. Definitely mm. a strange mix of foods. Like I wouldn't normally probably have all these together and have no. like a normal flatbread, but not like a cheese and tomato flatbread. That's okay, to be honest. It's all right. For an orange meal, I actually feel like I yeah. did really well. Like I feel like I was very limited to my options. I was either having curry, mm. orange chicken from the Chinese, I did think about. Oh, yeah. I could have had probably, but I yeah, couldn't find that in Tesco. Nice. We had orange chicken once and like it was not good. Like the orange chicken I had in my head last time was so nice and then we ordered it and it was just awful, wasn't it? Like we never tried this big chunk of orange, didn't it? On the top. It was so strange. Like orange chicken, but it wasn't nice. Yeah, to be fair, I think this is probably like the best option out of all of them, so I'm happy. We got meant to eat the tail, you know that. You've eaten it. Mm. Oh god, no, you haven't. <laughs> Everything was going so well with dinner time. We were really enjoying our dinner. And then, I don't know if you saw at the end of that clip, I just told mum, I, I noticed that mum had had a prawn and there wasn't a prawn tail on mum's plate. So I said, you know you're not meant to eat the tail. And mum ate the tail and we Googled it and we think it's fine, but it just like really put me off my food knowing that mum ate the tail of the prawn. Mum was like, no, I know it's fine. I'm sure it's fine, I'm being dramatic. But it was just a lot when all I've been told is do not eat the tail. Oh. Uh, 
Right, Dinner is complete and now it is time for some dessert. So why am I holding this like a makeup product? I'm gonna have my orange jelly. I don't normally like orange jelly. I normally go for like strawberry. I'm just a massive lover of strawberry things, but we'll give it a try. First try of orange jelly. Tastes more like peach. Like way more like peach than orange. Mmm, it's very fresh. God, you forget how much you love jelly until you have it again. Everyone comment down below their favourite childhood dessert. Mum is either strawberry jelly, raspberry jelly, but I think I've been missing out on orange jelly. It was really, really fresh. I'm going to finish this pot now. Yeah, we're doing part of our, this vlog. Yeah, what are we no, going to do? And then we've got these <gasps> cookies. Did I buy you some cookies? Yeah. For next week, we've got all that. We have, but don't tell anyone. No one can know yet. It's a secret. No, I can't tell you all that. Do you know who we've got with us? Who? Can we <gasps> Can we She's orange. Well, he's orange. Yeah. Eating only orange food for 24 hours. Stop. Yeah, look inside that bag. It's all orange. And that's why we put orange here. Exactly. And a bit of white and a bit of black. Yeah. But they're Halloween colours. Exactly, and it's Halloween edition. And I don't want to put the camera just here. Just open the pack. We've got the cookies, we've got some sprinkles, and we've got some icing. We're going to do some icing. We're going to do this. So, I'm not very good at icing, but I'm going to try. I need to open it. It's not open. <laughs> not a great ice, but I'm going to try. Go on, try your best. That's all that matters. There you go. See, that's why I'm not a very good icing. Atticus, it looks amazing. As long as you try your best, that's all that matters. On Sunday, go ahead and see this video. <laughs> By the way, after this, we're going to eat all of them. Are we? We're going to eat all five. And you know what? What? You should have got orange icing. I should have, but the pack come with black. But yeah, I should have got orange icing. You're right, Atticus. It's okay. Because no, it was purple. It wasn't allowed in... It wouldn't be allowed in the video, would it, Anna? No. Am I doing a good job? You're doing a really good job. Look at that, you've outlined half of it already. Right. <laughs> Do you want me to help you? It's okay. I should be okay, by the way. I'm almost done. Oh, oh good boy. He looks at me. Am I doing a good job, Anna? I was like, yeah, you are. And by the way, Anna, and this is very hard. Very hard after a school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. <laughs> this boy has got so much energy. By the way, by the way. Here's Tamrita. Look, he's looking at you and he's saying a good job. I always used to say by the way when I was younger. I'm actually not going to lie. This is pretty good. <laughs> it is so good, Atticus. Yeah. It's not the best I can do. But you're trying your best. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> Even if this runs out, we, we're going to have to eat three cookies without icing. How many is there in the pack? Five. Five. So I'll be decorating three and you'll be decorating two. <laughs> Thanks, Atticus. And that's really fair. That is really fair. Atticus just said he wants to taste test them. Yeah, and if when the what the one says horrible, I know what we should do. What? We should put mummy with it. When she comes out of the bath, she's gonna go. I just decorated one. I went very simple, outlined the bits because I quite like mine plain. So do you, Atticus. I'm surprised you've really gone to town on the icing. Taste test? Bad. Is it not? No. Do you like it? Mm. That's my Lord. Mine I'm going to give a 9. Mm. And yours a 10. <gasps> really? Yeah. Yay, thanks Bubs. Now it's my turn again. Got some sprinkles. All of them. Oh, all of them. When you open them, I've got sparkly art box from the rest. I'm going to plank mummy. Well, Atticus is. I'm not having any involvement in this. Get a bit of cookie and put butter jam on it. I just drew Atticus a tiger in icing. And will you just draw me a lion there? Oh, God. Don't try this at home. Don't try and plank your mum with butter jam or cookies. Don't do it. You heard it here first. We're just doing a little prank. But you can't do this at home. Especially if you're three or two or one. <laughs> Or four. I'm allowed to do it because I'm five. This is the moment. If you can't reach the butter, I can. Please, I'm just going to get my fingers in. <gasps> I really should be telling you off for this. Oh no. Oh my god, mummy's actually going to go mental at me. Attica. Oh. Uh, 
Mum's just actually not going to talk to me. I'm meant to be playing with you, not pranking mummy and letting you dip your fingers in butter. I'm just going to cover it in icing. Attica's going to make mummy eat that bit. It's got a load of butter under the icing. Taking it upstairs. <laughs> It was covered in butter underneath the ice and he wanted to prank you. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I have just woken up and I am about to go downstairs. And we're going to have the last orange meal of this challenge, which is going to be breakfast, which this is like the weirdest combination of stuff ever. These actually smell really good. I never really normally have beans in the morning now. I normally just have like cereal. I mean, it looks a different type of cereal, but um, it still looks really good. Ignore my messy room. I literally have just rolled out of bed, but mm, the grum. It tastes a little bit more like lunch than breakfast because it literally is like 9 a.m. right now. It's nice to have something warm though. I'm really glad I got something warm because I've got a bit of a sore throat. I don't know if you can tell. So I feel like this is like soothing it a little bit. And then I've got my yogurt. This is an apricot yogurt and I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. It's like a light orange color. Like it, it's more peach, but it's definitely a shade of orange. So that's going to count. It tastes literally like the frubes, like you know the yellow or orange frubes. The only thing I don't like in this is it has bits in and I just prefer like the smooth yogurt. Having the bits in just makes me feel a bit weird. I don't know, like orange juice with bits, I can't drink either. Finally, I've got these mandarins in juice. Oh my God, they're dripping everywhere. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I might just save them for mum to have. Oh no. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. If you want me to do any other colours, please let me know down below. And other than that, I love you all so much. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.